Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to, welcome back to Scrap Mechanics. So, today we're going to be getting a little bit uh, deeper into the game. So there's a, uh, there's a thing I haven't touched yet, and some people were asking about this. It's called the controller. Allows bearings to rotate in sequence. Perfect for building, transforming creations. Needs to be connected to bearings. Activated by connecting a trigger or driver's seat to the controller. Okay, so there's, there's some stuff with this, but, um... Let's, let's start with the down and dirty basics. What do you think a controller would be best for? The answer is a door. So. Door. It's actually pretty slick. Works pretty well. Only problem is, uh, so far, the, you can only connect one switch to a controller. So I can't have a switch on both sides connected so I can close the door. So here's what happens if I try closing the door. I'm actually trapped. What I could do is add another switch and connect it and I mean this is pretty much what I have to do to leave my own home right now there we go not great so there are limitations figured I'd point that out before you guys try and make like a weird locked uh, door locking mechanism whoopsie I seem to have messed things up a little bit oh oh hey the contr the command is still there nice okay yeah I Oh, okay. Well, whatever. I'll have to mess around with that some more just in case bad things happen. For now, though, this will be fine. Okay, so what else can we do with this, uh, with the controller? Lots of things. We can make a folding house. We can make, um... Jeez, we can make an insane amount of things. But yeah, so you can only, you can only attach one bearing well you can attach many bearings to a controller but only one switch so right now this controller can't do anything else i can't have like the central computer for the house that uh controls everything this is just the door mechanism now there's a lot of other things that i can do that i will do so let's let's make another thing why don't why don't we do this let's go inside the house and wreck it let's wreck it as hard as we can because i got a I got a bone to pick with uh you know my roof I don't really need it that much. It, I mean, it's okay, but whatever, man. I don't like. I don't. I don't like. I don't like being confined by such a small little shack. Actually, yeah, yeah. Let's let's do the back wall too. This is this is going to be this is going to be an undertaking, but I'm kind of looking forward to it. Okay. Uh, you know what? We're gonna leave the front wall though. I'm not entirely sure what messing around with this would do, but I don't. I don't. I don't want to mess with the front wall for the time being. I'm sure I could do some stuff, but still. Okay, so first and foremost, what we're going to do is we're going to make a little section there. Add a bearing. Section there. Add a bearing. Now, luckily, weight limits don't seem to matter in this game. So I can kind of do whatever I want here. Okay, so we've got this. Actually, do I want to do that? Uh, pardon? Oh, I didn't attach it to the bearing. I was wondering about that. Okay, this might not work the greatest. Okay. Oh, crap, and I've lost it now. There we go. Okay, so you know what? Just for this, just for the sake of seeing, seeing is believing, figuring these things out. Let's take this, put this there. Okay. So how do we do this? I'm trying to think of how I'm going to have this rotate. I think this is I think this is right. Okay, so we're going to we're going to put these there in this in this layout. If this is wrong, then I'll eat my hat, but I don't uh, I don't want to eat my hat. That'd probably be pretty gross. Uh and that's kind of a bad thing to promise at the beginning of a semi-experimental video. Okay, there we go. So now we got these. Why don't we... Why don't we actually start by putting the controller down? Uh, just to get a basic feel for what we're doing here. And I'll put a switch next to this one. Okay. We got three bearings. And a switch. Okay, then seeing as... Seeing as we're here... Let's add one level of wooden block to each. Because this is all I need to do what I'm doing. Okay. So let's make sure... 
it's red is up. Okay, so we've got three ways. This is the basic rotation editor. Uh, so you know what? Yeah, we'll leave, we'll leave this as default. So this is position one, this is position two, three, four, five, and it'll loop through until it gets all of them. Okay, so position one is that. Position two is going to be negative 90 across the board. Either this is going to fail, uh, humorously, or work perfectly. Remove lift to use this switch. Oh, right. I forgot, if you're using a lift, you can't use anything. Perfect. Okay, so what does this do? This gives us uh, the basis for what we do next. So we've we've got spot one. Now let's let's finish making this. Okay. So here's the question: how how do we wanna how do we wanna go about this one? We could do it really really fun uh, humorously, or we could just kind of do it basic. You know what? Let's put it on the left. And let's do this. Okay, how's the next one rotating? I think we want it like this, in this manner. Okay, then let's get another bearing. I'd rather have the bearings on similar sides, just so they're easy to reach. Okay. So I believe this'll work. Awesome. Let's connect this bearing to this controller. Uh, let's see. Oh, interesting. The bearing is reversed from the last time. Okay. Well, either way, this is number four. I don't know how many of I don't know how many bearings I can attach to one thing, but it should be fine. Okay. So we want to do like 45 degrees. Actually, no. This is this is normal. So we want to have it be 45 degrees now. Now let's take it off the lift. There we go. Hmm. Maybe I should... I should just leave it at 90. Yeah, we'll just leave it at 90. Oh, whoops. wonder what the problem is there. There we go. Well, this is kind of a proof of concept. For the time being, this'll do. So let's extend this. Let's extend the walls proper. Okay, so why am I doing this? Eh, mostly because I can. Um, trying to think of exactly, exactly how this is, how this is going to work. But I effectively want a house that rolls. A transforming house with wheels. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's make this, let's make this a flat 90. Okay, there we go. Now... Let's press this. Oh, crap. Didn't actually think of that. Hey, you know what? I don't need this last one anyway. Or do I? Yeah, this is probably easier here, come to think of it. Okay, let's get rid of that one for the sake of symmetry. Cool. Okay, and when these are all at 90, this, I believe, is also at negative 90, come to think of it. There we go. Alright, so why why this? Uh, okay. Let's flip that switch. We need this to go a little bit farther this way. Okay, flip that switch again. That's a little clunky, but that's okay. You don't have to worry about stuff breaking on you. It's not the prettiest thing in existence, but it functions. I'm gonna have to move this controller, aren't I? Eh, whatever. Okay, how much more do I have to go with this one? Pretty high. Pretty far. Okay. Should probably get up on the lift. Finish this one. The, uh, finish this one off, and then work on the other ones, just so I have them. Making a transforming house is not the easiest thing in it in the existence of ever, but that's okay. And we'll just put wheels wheels on the bus. We'll put a. Uh, yeah, the problem is these controllers here 
are probably going to need to move for me to finish what I need to do. Okay. Let's plonk that there. There we go. Okay. So, you know what? Seeing as, seeing as we're kind of going through a period of redesign here, let's, let's finish everything off. Uh, let's see. So, let's put another bearing there. Okay. Got to make sure they all attach. Oh, they were uneven after all. Sort of. Oh, the door isn't placed right. Whatever. Is it? I'm really confused. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I've gone too far. That's that's what's wrong. Okay. So this should work now. Let's do that. I really wish you could actually like do kind of a piece designer in this game. You can't do that, and it's a bit weird. Oh well. Okay, so we got this one too. Oops. That's not gonna work. Uh, let's just continue on. I actually have no idea how tall these are. Where's the bearing on this one? I don't know why. It's just nice to have all the bearings on one side. Makes it easier to tell what's going on. Alright, so we expand that there. Yeah. This will work. This will work great. Okay. And we're just going to drag it as far as we can go. There we go. Why? Uh, it just makes life easier. Okay. So now it looks like we've got just a massive house thing. Oh, right. i got to finish, finish this side. We'll just... Drag a bunch. Perfect. Okay, next up, uh, eventually I'll have to move the controllers, like inside the house. It inside the house? No. Uh, probably upstairs. But that's okay. Uh, so let's connect. So these these are the initial three. Then the secondary three. Try and get them lined up and organized. Okay. So these are all up. Bearing is proper. Okay, so let's switch that. Switch that. Okay, so blue's down, red is up. Okay, should be good to go. So we want, I think negative 90s across the board on transformation. Is that all of them? Nope, there we go. They're really need to look up exactly how many things you can attach to one of these. Okay. And we've already got the internal switch. Remove lift to use switch. Duh. Plonk. Love that noise. Ah. <laughs> okay. So six is too much. Four is the wrong direction. Actually, six and four are probably both the wrong direction. What if we just switch them? Oh. You know what I realized? These don't change at all. Okay. So let's reset that before everything goes wrong. Okay. So everything but this one. This one went the wrong direction. That works? Okay, we've made our house. It took a little bit more effort than I thought it was going to. Uh, but that's because I'm bad with rotation, I guess. Alright, let's clear off all of these. Okay. So now if we hit the switch again, it'll expand out. Now obviously this is not what I, what I want to do. Fully. Uh, so the baseline is going to be 45 degrees. Makes it look kind of funny, but I don't think that's really going to be that useful for us. Okay, so the other direction. 
Actually, let's try like... Try 60. 60 could work. Maybe. Because 90 is too much. I mean, we could try 75. Yeah, 75 could work just as well. Okay, let's hop back up on this horror beast. Eventually, I'm going to need to use a lift to get on it. Uh, uh, what? Okay, you know what? If all of these are going to have this problem, I think we need to go have them go in unison, otherwise it gets stuck. Okay. Huh. Yeah, they get stuck really easily. Okay! Well, this is bad. Sort of. I guess we'll just do this for the time being. See, now it knows what it's doing. Just something about that negative angle just makes it unhappy. What if we did, uh, what if we did, what if we switched them all? And tried, like, a positive angle. Oh. Oh. That might be part of the reason. Their rotation was bad. Alright, so let's switch this back. Okay, so now it's it's four to go. It's blue to go down. Let's try. Let's try forty-five degrees across the board. This one doesn't turn. Oh. Oh. I gotcha. So the problem is, I never actually connected everything to that bearing proper. Unfortunate, I guess. Oh, I got it. And then they don't rotate back. This is just the starting. So we need to we need to adjust from the starting back to 45. That's why it never switches back. It's not that it gets stuck. Is that it just doesn't it doesn't move right. There we go. Okay, cool. Well, conveniently, it's actually really easy to work with. So let's let it all expand out. Okay, and that's... It kind of works. I mean, we've got the extendo house, so that, that works great. So let's do this. Yeah, the problem is this section of wall... Wasn't working great. Okay. So it's a little... It's a little clunky. Oh. Yep, once again. Still needed to go just a little bit further. Okay, so now that... Now that we go, we've got... We've got the first section transforming out. So it kind of lifts itself off the ground. Now we don't have wheels. we got several things we can do. We could actually attach wheels onto these blocks and have them rotate out. That could work well. Um... I mean, honestly, I just kind of like having the silt house. It'd be great if I could almost get these to rotate like legs. But I don't think that's gonna work either. Okay. Now, I could actually cut this in half again and have these kind of... fold down. That could work. I'm not sure. We also don't have a roof yet. Let's get the roof in. And we'll make our decisions from here. I see bearings are on this side. Okay. There we go. If we do this, it's not going to be able to connect. This isn't... this isn't gonna work. This'll work. Okay, this is... this is what we're looking for. Oh, no, that's not. It looked like it. Unfortunately, the 3D bo model business was screwing with my head a little bit. 
Okay, this this will work. Okay. Let's extend this out. Okay, so how do we want to do it from here? Because we need we need the roof. I mean, this is going to be really claustrophobic. I I will be totally honest about that one. I think we want it like this, actually. Yeah. This is not going to be the prettiest house you ever, ever enter. I will be totally frank about this, but that's okay too. So let's expand that out that way. Expand this across the board. Oh. Okay, so when everything else out like that. Oh, I see. What we need to do is just connect them together. There we go. All right. So we got that going. Uh, let's let's finish let's finish laying in the ceiling before we do anything else. There we go. Okay. So if we press this, that stays out like that. I don't like that. Uh, let's take a look at this. How's it going? Okay. So why don't we actually do it this way? It should be the last one on the list. So when everything is baseline... 90 degrees. There we go. Okay, so now it's kind of folded up. And then when everything... Uh, when everything gets folded in... We're gonna want... Negative 90. Okay. It's a bit clonky, but it works. Obviously, this is a rudimentary design that will probably get changed later. But for now, I'm actually pretty pleased with the results. Okay, so first and foremost, let's start adding wheels to this sucker. Uh, I'm gonna try just adding two wheels to these corners. It'll be pretty obvious this is a transforming house, but I'm not going for... I'm not going for subtlety on this. Uh, let's see. Clock it there. Okay. Perfect. It's kind of interesting seeing the actual baseline here. Okay, let's get rid of that. It transforms, we get the wheels. Beautiful. Okay. So you know what we're gonna do? Gonna get rid of that, we're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna bring these triangles back out. I guess we don't need any more controllers. do we want? Probably this one. Yeah. I really should figure out what the limitations on this are. Oh well, we'll get there. Oh shoot. No, this isn't, this isn't gonna work. Not that rotation. Because the problem is, what we need them to do Yeah, it's not going to work either. <sighs> Let's transform this sucker and then rotate it from there. Oh, right. I forgot. Oops. We don't want to do that. We want to connect these two. Okay, there we go. So you, after button is pressed, 90. It'll rotate in, rotate out. I'm not sure. Okay, that's the, clearly the wrong direction. There we go. Okay, so now I can get outside the house. Let's take a look at this. So the problem is... These wheels. Ain't gonna work. Okay. So we're gonna get rid of that block. We're gonna get rid of that block. We're gonna drop that tire. We're gonna put a we're gonna put a lift down. We're gonna raise ourselves up. Okay. This is sketchy business. Okay. So how do we want this thing rotating? The 
other way. Probably this way. When it's folded up, we want the tires to be here. This lift is in the way. Okay. I'll give it a little bit more space this time around. Alright, beautiful. Uh, I probably should have set up the other set while we were here. It's okay, though. There we go. Put that sucker away. And this one. Hmm. <sighs> Problem is the tires are too big. This would work easier with a bigger house. Um, okay, this is nonsense. I love it. Okay, so let's put it. Let's put another lift down. Okay, so we're gonna put it. We're gonna put another bearing there. It's going to also. It's going to be placed like that. I'm just making this so it doesn't like run into weird collision issues because they totally will. That should be really stupidly obvious that it's always going to collide funky. Oh, I'm not staring at the right side. Come on. Rotate for me. Is that it? No. Weird. It is. Oh, there we go. Okay. So now we put this bearing here with this tire on. Okay. Then we're going to do the same to this side. This is the weirdest looking house I have ever made. Then again, this is actually one of the first houses I've ever made. I find this game fascinating. It's weird and super jank, but that's kind of part of the charm, actually. I guess I really could convert this front door, couldn't I? Well, either way, we gotta get rid of this. Uh, we'll put this one back up. Put that there. Let's see. That one there. Please fit. I'm begging you. Did that work? Nope. that work? No. That worked. Okay, there we go. Please be long enough. Please be... Yeah! Alright. So there we go. So this is probably going to need another controller, but that's okay. We'll, we'll do... We'll do set one. We'll do set two. This is the funkiest looking house. And yeah, I, I probably could actually have the uh, front, front door go down too. It would require a different uh, setup, but yeah, we could even have the, the front expand down. Uh... Well, I don't know. This is weird and goofy. Let's let's stop. Uh, let's let's stop recording for a bit. I'll finish this up and I'll show you guys the finished piece. Otherwise, this episode is going to go on for a very long time. Let's expand it down. Just proof of concept. God, that sounded awful. Hey, I could actually almost drive it like this. Almost. God damn, this is an ugly situation. I'll make an I'll make a nicer one for next time. I promise. Okay, at this point, we've got something functional, but it's not good. Why? One, we can't steer. I kind of forgot about that bit. Two, eh, whatever. All right, so let's let's just show off what I've done and let's crank these up a little bit because this thing does not go anywhere fast. Uh, so I had to ban the, I had to abandon the big tires because they were uh, they were just too cumbersome. I've got an idea for next time that will work, but still. Okay, so let's let's go over how this works. So first and foremost, uh, let's switch to something a little bit easier to see with. So first and foremost, we got light tires all the way here. Uh, here too. Here too. I put a, uh, I put a driver's seat here. And this sucker does actually go forward. 
Now, what I'd probably do to get this to work the rest of the way would probably try and jur jury rig some kind of turning mechanism out of this. I don't know how to do that. Maybe, maybe I'd attach it to the back wall, have it drop out, get it properly aligned and whatnot. But right now, don't care that much. Yeah, actually, I could probably very easily get a pair of... Uh, a pair of wheels that would that would work in that situation. Ah, uh, just expanding off, expanding off the back. But mainly, I just want to have the have the ability to put down some wheels and transform a house. So we fulfilled the basic requirements, and I'll make something better for next time that actually is more functional as a house and a vehicle. Because currently, this is like 30% vehicle, 70% house, and I want you know 90% house, and then you transform it, and it's 90% vehicle or something. I don't know. Uh, but still. Alright, so first and foremost, let's hit this button. That stows these tires under here, all those tires under there. Looks good. Okay, so next up, we get out of the way, press this button, and tally-ho, it's very quick. You know what? Actually, I can do a little bit better than this. Let's speed, let's slow it down a little. We don't really, we don't really need to, oh, holy crap. There we go. That feels better, right? Right. Okay. So, transforming house. Bada boosh. I like it. Now, I really wish I could slave them all together, but I think we hit the limit. Which is okay. You gonna start going? There you go. What happens if we transform the tires at the same time? Oh god. We messed that up. Let's hit both at the same time. Yeah, it's it's just really slow. So I can mess with the tires as much as I want here. That's cool. I like it. So yeah, we've got a functional little house. It's not great. And uh, it definitely has its issues. But we figured out mostly how trans uh, transforming controllers... Oh, oh god. Everything has gone bad. That's okay though. Yeah, we mostly figured it out. And I'm just satisfied with my results. I will I will mess around with some controllers later. This is a messy this is a messy thing, but it works and I like that. So I will have something a little bit more advanced in mind for next time and we will have we'll do a less fiddling. If you got any questions, let me know and if you want to see how this works better, I can probably go over that for you as well. But for now, I will see you guys in the next episode of Scrap Mechanic and as always, thanks for watching.